Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera to everybody. Today I would like to share a video regarding accounting cycle. You as an accounting student, you have to know the importance of accounting cycle and steps in accounting cycle. Jom, kita tengok. In this video, besides the steps in accounting cycle, I will also share with you a related subtopic that is types of source documents. Steps in accounting cycle. A common accounting cycle in any given business often has 9 or 10 steps depending on the procedure outlined by the given accounting department. Each step in the accounting cycle plays an important role in creating accurate entries and managing the company's finances each time a purchase is made or revenue is earned. If a company decides to implement an accounting cycle, it is important that each step is followed in the right order. Steps in Accounting Cycle The first step is Transaction Analysis That is, we analysis of business transaction from the document sources. The second step is Journal Records That is, we generalize the business transaction or enter the transaction information in a journal. The third step is post to ledger. Post or transfer the journal information to the appropriate accounts in the ledger. Then, the fourth step is to prepare the trial balance. The fifth step is adjustment. That is, we generalize and post adjusting entries, for example, deferrals or accrual. The sixth step is adjusted trial balance. That is, we prepare adjusted trial balance after the adjustment entries. The seventh step is to prepare financial statement that is statement of income and statement of financial position the eighth step is closing entries that is we generalize and post closing entries and the last step is to prepare a post closing trial balance Types of source documents. The documents is a source of business written as a proof for each business transaction that has occurred. There are two types of function. First is for reference document and the second one as a source of information. And only the document source of information should be recorded in accounting books. Invoice. Invoice is delivered by the seller to the buyer in the event of a credit transaction. The information includes in invoice are the goods, the quantity of goods, the cost per unit and also the total amount. Delivery Notes. Delivery notes is delivered by the seller to the buyer together with the goods and 
the buyer can check these items when they receive their goods. Debit notes. Debit notes is delivered by the seller to the buyer to inform that the customer account has been debited and it will increase the debt. Credit notes. Credit notes is delivered by the seller to the buyer to inform the buyer that the account has been credited and it will reduce the debt. Purchase order. Purchase order is sent by the buyer to the seller that contains information about the goods to be purchased. Receipts. Receipts is issued by the seller when they receive payment from the buyer. It is as an evidence that receipt and payment have been made. Payment voucher Payment voucher is an internal document provided by the business owner to record any kind of payment. Checkbot. Checkbot is used as a reference for the check payment that have been made by the company. Bank slip. Bank slip is a form that issued by the bank to record the transaction of deposit from customer or withdraw money by customers. Bank statement. The bank statement is issued by the bank to the account holder at the end of the month. Purchase. The term of purchase is used for purchases of goods or merchandise for resale. There are two types of purchase that is cash purchase and credit purchase. Sales. The terms of sales is used for sales of goods or merchandise. There are two types of sales. First is cash sales and the second one is credit sales. Discount. Discount is given to encourage the purchase or sales. There are two types of discount. First is trade discount and the second one is cash discount. The cash discount involves purchase discount and sales discount. Trade discount. Trade discount is the discount offered for buying. For example, if you buy 100 to 200 units, then the discount is 10% and if you buy 200 to 300 units, then the discount is 20%. The more you buy, the more discount you get. And for the trade discount, no record needed because the discount is already calculated in the total amount in the invoice. Cash discount. Cash discount is obtained after payment made within discount period and will be recorded in the account. Credit term, for example, 2 stroke 10 and stroke 30. 2 is for discount percentage, 10 is for discount period, while and stroke 30 is the last payment is due. And for your information, the discount calculation starts from the date of invoice. Credit terms in cash discount. For example, credit terms 2 stroke 10 and stroke 30. 
if payment was made within 10 days from the date of invoice, so they can get cash discounts of 2%. For example, the calculation, buying goods on credit amounting to 1,500 credit terms 2 stroke 10 and stroke 30. Payment will be due within 10 days as follows. Invoice 1,500 less 2% discount 30 and the net total to be paid is 1,470. But is the payment was not paid within 10 days, so the full payment must be made within 30 days of the invoice date. Allowances and purchase return. What is the difference between allowances and return? Purchase return means when goods are returned to the seller. But purchase allowance means there is no goods returned to the seller, but the price changes occur due to the defect in quality or quantity goods such as wrong size or defective part. Allowances and sales return. Same goes to sales return and sales allowances. Sales returns is when goods are returned by the customers. While sales allowances, there is no goods written by the customer but price changes occur due to the defect in quality or quantity goods such as wrong size or defective part. Freight cost. Freight cost is included in purchase agreement stated whether seller or buyer will pay the freight cost. There are two types of freight costs. Those are freight in and freight out. Freight in is included in purchase costs in cost of goods sold. Freight out is expenses in operating expenses. And the terms of transport FOB shipping point and FOB destination. As a conclusion, the accounting cycle makes accounting easier, breaking your bookkeeping down into smaller tasks, and it helps you see what you need to accomplish next. So, you can improve consistency and accuracy by following the accounting cycle. Okay, that's all for steps in accounting cycle. See you on the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye.